So this tutorial is about the timeline and how to make things move around, which is a great way to pre-visualize how a scene is going to play out. So let's figure out how to do that. Here's the scene and you can probably figure out what's going on here because the red character is here and then while he walks over here, the camera tracks over here ending in and over the shoulder and then there's a matching over the shoulder over here. The timeline works by simply telling the app where we are at time number one and time number two and so on and then the software just figures out how to animate it. So I'm going to press the edit button and then what I have to do now is toggle things on and off for each time slice. We're at time number one right now, so I'm going to make the first position of his walk active. I'm going to make the first position of the camera active, and then I'm also going to make the blue character active. It's just multiple turns, but I only want the first one to be enabled, so I turned off the second one. Then I tap time number two down here, and then I activate the red character in the second position. I activate the camera in the second position. I turn on the second rotation of this one here, and then I also turn on this camera over there. And that's literally all it takes. So now I'm going to put it in pause and then I'm going to go back to one and then I'm going to press play. And that is pretty amazing. Let's play it again. I think that's important to understand is that the software looks at whether things are connected to see if they should move. If we have two isolated red characters, they're not going to move just because I turn them on and off. They're just going to fade in and out of existence. But that's actually on purpose, because like this camera here, it only faded in for the part of the scene where it's active. So let's look at some more settings. When you tap a time slice, you get a menu where you can insert and delete time slices or make timeline labels. But more interestingly, I can control the speed of actors and cameras, so let's do that. So we're in time number one, and I'm going to turn off same speed, then the actor is going to be whatever his speed is, but then I'm going to make the camera much slower, and then see what happens now. Because he walks right away, but then the camera just does a slow creep for the rest of the scene, which is going to look great. So that's literally all there is to it. 